Hello, everyone, and welcome to the October general body meeting for the University of Kansas AIS chapter. Um, this is going to be just a recording, but feel free to leave anything in the comments if you have questions um, or anything uh, you'd like to comment on. So, moving right along, um, we do have an icebreaker. Uh, unfortunately, this will be recorded, so you won't be able to answer in person, but um, if you do want to leave a comment on answering this icebreaker, we would love to hear it. Um, what was your favorite Halloween costume? Mine would probably be um, a cow costume that I did when I was like three or four years old. I don't remember it um, a whole lot, but I do remember the costume being super adorable and the images that I got were amazing. Um, but going into um, a little bit of the roll call, um, we're not going to be able to go through every member, but um, here are all of our executive board members. Hopefully you find someone and you see someone that you recognize either in the group chats um, or in, that you know in person. Um, these are the individuals you can go to if you have any questions uh, about the organization, about leadership or anything like that, um, and about anything we're um, doing and any activities we have going on. So the agenda for this meeting um, is going to be um, reviewing last month's, um, looking back at all the things we did in September, going over national reports, um, going over events, going over our outreach methods, freedom by design, and finally a town hall. Um, so starting off, October review, uh, we did have some amazing ARC hangouts. Um, we talked about um, women in architecture, we talked about the certificates that are able to be provided to um, students within the School of Architecture and Design. Um, and we talked about licensure and the different um, paths that you can go and different tips and tricks to getting licensed. Um, we also had firm visits with Trainer HL and Hollis and Miller. You can find the Trainer HL one on YouTube. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the Hollis and Miller one recorded. Um, but if you were there, I'm sure you can testify. It was an amazing um, firm visit. Um, then we have the student shout outs. We got some amazing student shout outs that I'll highlight a little bit later on. Um, and same thing with professor highlights. Um, also got to see some amazing professors. Um, and so, yeah, uh, moving on. We also have our um, pumpkin carving contest winner. Um, congratulations to Emily Fox and Michael Alveda. Sorry if I mispronounced your names, um, but you guys did an amazing pumpkin of the hawk signal um, in Lawrence, which was um, just really cool to see. Um, then moving on to the national reports, um, I want to just remind everyone, um, AIS stands for the American Institute of Architecture Students, if you were unaware. Um, and these are our lovely national representatives. Um, we have National President Aaron Conti, National Vice President Sarah Takatatsu, and our Midwest Quad Director Cooper Moore. Um, these are their Instagram handles, um, AIS Org and at AIS Midwest, if you want to follow them, which I highly recommend to get kind of updated information on what's going on at a much larger scale. Um, then just a reminder that we do belong to the Midwest Quad, which is this uh, lovely uh, group of states highlighted here in purple. Um, they uh, are a great group of people. Um, I meet with them usually about once a month um, to kind of talk about how the chapters are going um, and to kind of get that networking, networking opportunity. Um, you all are welcome to join us in our meetings this year as well, or this semester. Um, and then another thing which I'd just like to highlight is Cornelius, the stuffed corn cob, um, which is the Midwest quad mascot. It's very unique to just the Midwest as no other, um, no other quad has its own mascot. Um, but we do have him this semester, so uh, I'm sure you guys saw our first post. Um, we'll be doing more posts throughout the rest of the semester, um, though it is short, uh, kind of telling you all about what his journey in uh, KU is going to be like. Um, and then just uh, briefly going over the uh, national reports again, um, or more in detail, we do have the Chaos Lab. This is um, a series of workshops to discuss and um, talk about how architecture can happen in the digital realm and how we can disrupt the practice of architecture. Um, that's happening November 2nd, November 10th at 7 p.m. Uh, do feel free to join. Uh, for more information, just check out the website, uh, the national website, um, AIS.org, um, and you'll be able to find uh, more information. And then call for resolution. If you want to make a change and something big about the organization, um, feel free to reach out to me um, and we can talk about maybe making a resolution to the Council of Presidents, the International Council, or the um, International um, Council of Presidents where we'll be talking about um, different changes that can happen within the organization. Um, and then we also have uh, Forum 2020, which is themed Palimipset. Um, this, uh, it's going to be an amazing forum. I can see from the looks of it and from other virtual conferences, I'm super excited for the way this is going to 
turn out. Um, right now, the cost is actually only $100 um, until Saturday, uh, October 31st. So if you are planning on going, do buy your tickets before then. Um, but after that, the cost will go up to $150 for members and then $200 for non-members. Um, and the website for more information, if you just want to look into it more, um, is going to be AISForum2020.com. Um, yeah, and so that is it for the national reports, but going over some of our November events that we'll be hosting. Um, first, we have bingo. Um, so it'll be a bingo contest with over $100 in prizes we'll be giving away. So definitely worth attending. Um, the time is um, to be determined, uh, but do be checking out our Instagram for um, updates on the time and um, more details. It is available to any architecture, interior architecture student, and it'll be happening on Google Meets. Yeah, do be looking forward to bingo. Um, we've already had several other giveaways that no one's claimed prizes for, so definitely worth um, attending, even if, because um, odds are you will probably walk away with um, some money made. Then we have uh, the ARC Hangout series. Um, the KU ARC Hangout series um, has been, uh, like I said, going on really well. We've been able to bring in a lot of professionals and professors in to talk about the industry and the practice as a whole. Um, and um, they are happening every Tuesday, and I'll get into the schedule. But um, if you guys would like to um, either email me or um, write a comment in the video description uh, explaining a art hangout idea that you would like to see. Um, you know, we are finishing up this semester and we have the rest of the semester planned, but we need more ideas for next semester. So we'd love to get more ideas on what you guys would like to see um, and uh, what you guys would like to have professionals talk about. Um, and the sky is the limit. We will take everyone just as seriously um, as any of the other topics as we do want to try and target what you guys find interest in. Um, so the art hangouts for the rest of the semester are going to be searching for a job slash internship panel um, with professionals. Then we'll have an interviewing uh, interview tips, um, both, did, both for uh, virtual interviews as well as in-person interviews. And then we'll also be having a uh, generic art hangout. Um, that'll be during the week where a lot of people will be finishing up their final projects. Um, so feel free to join us for an hour or so and just relax, take a, take a step back and take a break. Um, but then we have our firm visits. Um, we don't have any currently um, planned right now, though we do still have a few more in the works for the rest of the semester, so do be watching our Instagram out for that. Um, but they usually happen um, on Fridays from 3 to 4 p.m. Um, if you do have a studio conflict, I would highly encourage you to just talk to your professor and say, hey, I'd really like to go to this. Um, I would have pretty high bets that they would be um, willing to uh, let you vacate the, Google, uh, the Zoom call for an hour to attend this. Um, the attire, um, these will be semi-formal, so please um, don't just show up in a tank top or your pajamas. Do kind of put on a nice shirt. Um, and if you do have a colored shirt, that would be um, even better. Um, and then the cost is free. Um, normally, these events would cost $5 per person, but since they are virtual, um, we decided to just have them free to attend. Um, so yeah, do be looking forward to those. Again, watch our Instagram um, for more updates on that as they come. And our future general body meeting, our last general body meeting, will be happening on November 18th um, from 6 p.m. It'll mostly just be reviewing how the semester went and kind of getting um, very rough details about what next semester will entail. Um, we will be having another general body meeting before next semester starts in January. So no worries if um, you are uncertain about what all is going to be happening. We will have a more um, detailed meeting um, before then. Um, but yeah, so the purpose of them is just to give updated general um, up-to-date information on what the chapter will be doing in the next month. Um, they usually do happen on the last Wednesday of every month, um, and they are open to anyone, um, whether you're an interior architecture student, architecture student, a prospect student, um, or an alumni. All are welcome to join our general body meetings to figure out who we are. Um, they are happening on Google Meet in the link that is right here. Um, we're going to try and keep that Google Meet. Um, we're definitely going to keep it for next general body meeting um, on the 18th, um, but we're going to try and keep it for next semester as well. And then uh, moving on to outreach, some of the outreach opportunities. Um, we do have our social media channel, which if you aren't following, I would highly recommend following. Um, it's the best way for us to get information out to you um, right now. Um, it is just at KU underscore AIS on, on Instagram. And then we also do have a YouTube channel, AIS University of Kansas, which you're probably watching this from. Um, 
and uh, we'll be posting up other information and other um, tools um, that we find throughout the year. Um, the student shout outs are also going to be continuing um, for the rest of the semester and into next semester. Um, same with Professor Highlights and Marvin Minute, which I'll get into in a bit. But starting off with student shout outs, um, here are the students that got shouted out last month. Um, all of them are amazing individuals and we're so happy to have them um, being shouted out. Um, the student shout outs are amazing, uh, are, are available to uh, every single MARC and IA student. Um, so if you are um, one of those individuals, do feel free to uh, fill out the form that is in this QR code and you can get more information uh, or you can get your uh, student shout out put out there. And then next we have professor highlights. Um, this is going to be our opportunity to highlight some of our amazing professors and faculty members we have here on the university. Um, seeing as we are uh, a pretty well-renowned university. Um, but last month we had Misha Fernando and Keith Vanderwey. Uh, Misha Fernando is actually her first year here at KU, so it was amazing to welcome her in um, to the family and to be a part of what all is going on. And then we also have Keith Vanderwey, who is a design build uh, studio professor. Um, so any of you who are expecting to take that either next semester or um, who are expecting to take that next year, if you're a second year. Um, great insight to kind of understand a little bit about his background and kind of the way um, he works. They will be happening at least once a month, if not more. Um, I know last month we got two, um, and we're gonna try and shoot for two every month um, if possible. Um, they are available to any professor, um, whether they're tenured, whether they're adjunct, or anywhere in between. Um, so do feel free to um, comment down in the description down um, in the comment section below on a professor that you want to be highlighted um, we're always looking to highlight more professors and more amazing work that the university does um, so we'd really appreciate any suggestions you have um, and they are being posted on instagram and then we have marvin minute if you are unaware right on this youtube channel you are seeing right here um, we do post every sunday a kind of weekly news update um, talking about um, what's upcoming in the next week or what's upcoming in the next few weeks. Um, this is usually only a three minute video, three and a half minute. Um, so it's a great thing. Wake up Sunday, wake up Monday morning, um, watch right as you're getting ready for the week um, and kind of learn what opportunities we have available to us. Um, it is available, those are available to watch for the whole chapter and anyone else who wants to watch it. Um, it's on a public YouTube channel. So um, if you want to share it with friends, um, we are more than willing to do that. Um, and again, it is happening right here on this very YouTube channel. Um, then I'm going to pitch our last thing for our KU calendars. Um, they are um, the calendars that were made in 2020, but will be the 2021 calendars, um, strip calendars. They've been a part of the school for over 50 years and are very much a hallmark um, of the university's uh, Department of Architecture. Um, they are three inches by th uh, three feet. Um, and they're originally designed to put on the side of drafting tables, but you can put them anywhere. A lot of people put them in um, thin corners in their houses or on uh, columns just to kind of um, put something there or have a calendar where it's faces. I'd also like to give a quick shout out for the pricing of them. Um, they are only $8, which um, if you've ever bought a calendar is really cheap for a calendar. Um, and so uh, we highly recommend um, you know, buying one, putting it up somewhere, showing your pride within the KU and getting a part of this tradition. Um, then we also have Freedom by Design. Um, this is going to be directed by Jenna. Uh, I'm sure you saw her on the roll call slide. Um, but she has been working with the Lawrence Community Shelter on getting small opportunities for students to go out and volunteer. Um, these right now are looking like they're going to be um, small things like uh, raking and um, gardening, the um, lawn landscaping. Um, as well as just cleaning out old rooms that are um, needing of uh, just being organized and cleaned out. If you are interested in helping out Freedom by Design, uh, either with Lawrence Community Shelter or with any future opportunities, do feel free to hang, fill out this Google form. Um, it'll let Jenna know that you're interested in helping out in any capacity that you can. Um, and then that brings us to the town hall. Um, unfortunately, some of you aren't um, uh, if you guys aren't able to be here with me on the recording session, uh, but if you do have any questions, um, you can either leave them in the comment section and we'll be able to answer them, and one of us will be able to answer them, or you could just um, email me directly at aiskupresident at gmail.com. Um, and do, uh, if you are interested in joining AIS, it's only a $50 um, 
joining fee, which is significantly less than most um, sororities and fraternities, and you get access to a lot of um, amazing networking benefits. Um, and you can do that just by going to AIS.org and clicking the join button in the top right corner. Um, and then again, just another reminder, do follow us on Instagram at, at KU underscore AIS. Um, and make sure to um, either subscribe or just check in on the AIS University of Kansas YouTube channel um, every once in a while. Uh, but that's it for this general body meeting, this month's general body meeting. Do tune in for next month on the 18th of November, um, where we'll be giving, again, kind of a uh, review on how the semester has gone and getting in more of your guys' comments and ideas. Uh, but that's it for this general body meeting. I hope everyone is having a great day.